all these cars have character. Oh, yeah. And I mean, no no offense to you guys who are designing the new cars. There's not a whole lot of care. I can't tell you the difference between if, if I'm behind a Toyota, a Mercedes, BMW, yeah, BMW, you know, if you took the badges off and put a gun to my head, I'd be dead. Yeah, the, I would the, have the plastic no idea. bumpers don't give it any distinguishing yeah, yeah. characteristics. So. I mean, these cars with hideaways. Yeah. Like I said, this is 68 with AC and disc power, disc brakes. Yeah. And it's kind of unusual because it's not an XR7, but it has... And then it's a factory four barrel. So it was just somebody put the right things in the yeah, right boxes. Yeah, they, they wanted these options. They didn't want the XR7, but they got all the options of the XR7. And then, of course, this thing is like the most classic oh, of yeah. Mustang. 70 fastback. 70 fastback. Don't and, mind the chickens over oh, here. This is a true barn find, guy. <laughs> if you want to know what a barn find is, here is here goes the Mustang. And there's 40 while. chickens right next to it going, hey, check it out. <laughs> Don't mess with our Mustang. This this I bought for my wife. This was her anniversary gift a couple years ago. Wow. All so, original. Oh, I wow. do my best to keep mice out of them. I throw fabric softener sheets over, all over And them. you got some of the parts in here, but this. Yeah, some of the parts. I, I mean, even the seat, you got a little tear, but I mean, that's it. Yeah, yeah, it's it's all. Wow. It's not bad. Now that light hopefully is not a nah, No, no, it's just sitting on there. <laughs> I was going to say, because I've never seen that option. That ain't factory, I know that. So, uh, oh, and it's even got the, the slots, the aluminum slots. Oh, yeah, the vintage slot wheels on. Yeah, this is, like a, this is like a Hot Wheels car. Yeah, yeah. Like, literally, is. this looks like a Hot Wheels. It's, it's got the louvers on the back window. This this thing here is, like, right out of 1979. Yeah, yep. I mean, I love this thing. I, if it's local, it probably went to the high school with me. Yeah. Somebody probably had it. Car. I wonder who owned it. This was a local car. So. I did have to, uh, the cam was wasted, so I, I did a cam shaft in it. I mean... I chromed it up, it's just dusty, but right. I put some chrome stuff, but I did this. Uh, no, this is, okay. Um, okay, barn, we're going, we're going. The barn's funny in here sometimes. Oh, uh, we're going. We're My going. wife said this place was built in 1840, and she says she feels something up on the third floor there. Oh, so tell me about the engine again a little bit. Uh, yeah, the engine's a three, it's the original 351 Windsor. Okay. Um, the cam, it was popping through the carb. Uh, cam lobes were worn, so I pulled the top end apart. I put a new cam and lifters, had the heads done, slapped it back together. She run, it's a runner. I mean, this is this is not even so, antique tagged and insured. When has this been? When was the last time this has been out on the road? Um, uh, two years. Two years? Yeah, two years. It's been sitting. In when there. was the last time it was clean? <laughs> two years. <laughs> two years. <laughs> that's two. That's all. I think years. the person that's... who wrote "clean me" yeah, on it probably it was a year probably ago. a year. <laughs> oh. But, well, uh, yeah, we were trying to figure out we were going to do blue on the car. Um, the hood you seen downstairs was for this because okay. I seen some rust on this hood. Right. And the hood I have down there is really nice. I'd, I'd like to keep this hood and fix this. And it I looks can. like it. It is this one that could have been a shake. It could be a shaker hood could've too. Could have been a shaker hood because yes. it has the cutout for the yes. shaker hood. I don't think they do that on the repos, do they? Nah. The reproductions nah, don't have the nah. cutout like that. Waiting nope. in case because that was a Ford. That was on the the Ford assembly line where they would use the hood and it would either cut it out or it wouldn't right, cut exactly. it out. Exactly, and that's why that that template is there for them to just buzz that out. Oh, wow. Through right here, it went, it went right around that seam and that rubber lip around the edge and then yeah. the shaker part sticking out. But and this car here is a 69 LTD. It's a chassis and frame. Oh, okay. It's, a, it's, a it's facing us. I'm like, okay. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's, the, it's a frame and chassis. I saved it because the frame was in perfect condition and the body was, was pretty rusty. Right. But it only had 48,000 miles. It was a four-door hardtop. With a 390 with factory air and power disc brakes, power steering. So I kept the frame and and the uh, drivetrain set up for a future project. I might want to put something on this right. frame. It's a full size frame, a four door hardtop frame. So you ready to put anything? You didn't even put yeah. a 50s body on there yeah, if you exactly. wanted it. Got... I'm thinking like an old paddle wagon or something like that, maybe. Yeah. Or, oh, I mean, that would be cool. Something. You can make anything work with this, the long drivetrain. Yeah. Or that long frame. You can see I got that black XL interior over there for oh, yeah? the sixty six extra fenders. Yeah, you got your you got a whole shop. Oh up. yeah, and there's two more I got floors. I just started putting parts upstairs. I'm working on it. I'm trying to turn the hay chute into an elevator. So, so when did uh when did when did you start like the collecting and doing this stuff? I mean we all had a time was um, it did I've you always had a couple were you, cars. Were you doing it in even in high school or, or yeah, whatever? Yeah, so when I was sixteen I had five cars. Oh, okay. You know? 
I always have more than one car. Uh, you know, it's just it's just a hobby. If I see an old car sitting and it's just sitting there rotting away, I, I try to save it, you know. Should they subscribe to this channel even if they don't like cars today for this one? Probably just for this one.